Untergliven glatten Globen. Ja, vor, ja, vor, und ich bin Kluger. Herr Mut, Herr Mut, ich bin Kluger. Eins, zwei, drei, der Kaka, Kaka, Kaka. I like it. What is it? Oh, just a little Time Warner IP I found on the internet. Amazing what comes up when you search Show You Weenie. Um, yes, interesting. Oh, I'll burn your copy. It won't cost you. Much. R.I.A.A. R.I.A.A. Freeze, music pirate! Oh, right, the music piracy. Hey, not in the face! No one messes with my sidekick. Um, uh, uh, be gentle. He's just a boy, I think. It'll never stick. Don't worry about me. I've got compadres on the inside. Oh, you do what you can to raise them to be good kids. You never imagined they'd get involved in... in... What's he being charged with exactly? Ka ka ka! Ka ka ka! Oh, right. Copyright infringement. You don't need to be here. The peanut has it all under control. But you're in jail. Innocently accused of a crime you didn't commit. You'll get eaten alive in here. Interesting. Oh, laundry's done? Great. Yeah, if you could just roll up the tights. No, no, not folded. Yeah, put them on my cot. <clears throat> so who's the firm sending to defend me? Potamus? Phil? Avenger! To me! <laughs> So, who's the firm sending to represent me? I've called you all here today because you're all overpaid. But with the help of the latest in cloning technology, I've found an unending source of cheap recruits. Ha ha ha! Low dolly. Wait. Cloning people? Isn't that illegal? Nope, looked it up. So long as I own the original, I can make up to five copies for my personal use. But who have you cloned? Who else? Me! Meet Phil Ken72, Esquire, Junior, at law. It's a baby! How disappointing. Daddy, a new brother! Or is he an uncle? Oh no! I nearly blew my secret identity! Say something to cover up your mistake! Say something! That's disgusting! Of course not! It's perfectly natural! Other than the cloning machine, and me trying to breastfeed, I was hoping for something... bigger! Oh well! Daddy! Damn it! I mean Phil! Avenger, go! Hey, grab me a power juice while you're out, would you? <laughs> well, back to the lab to find a way to make old little Phil grow a lot larger. Oh, my little brother slash uncle. Thank you, Avenger. I love my boots! I once had a gerbil named Slacks. I 
don't like zucchini. Ever! Give me the usual. Ah, orange dreamsicle. <laughs> Take me away. Bad day? <sighs> Peanut's been arrested. Huh. He was just in here last night. What were the charges? Copyright infringement. Wait. He was in here last night? He's not old enough. I think. Uh, that's not what the ID in his fanny pack says. could the RIAA have against Peanut? And what is the RIAA? Recording Industry Association of America. Just last week, they ran a spot check of MP3 players at the front door. Why were they checking for MP3 players at a bar? He slipped out the back window, ditched his fanny pack here before he left. Do you still have his fanny pack? Here you go. Maybe I can find something on here to prove Peanut's innocence.
You! You did this! What? What? What did I do? I'm not sure. Yet. Oh, nice. You have about as much respect for the law as our current administration. Perfect! I'm sure I can come up with something. I hear your young ward has been arrested. How unsurprising. Now, what do you know about it? He's been charged with copyright violation. Sound familiar? We're very careful here to get the proper paperwork filled out in triplicate before we duplicate anything that might be under copyright. After all, that's the law. <sighs> I'm sorry. Were you saying something? <sighs> Hold that thought. I had a reason to come in here. I think. You wouldn't happen to know anything about this, would you? You come into my shop and insult me like this? This is the shoddiest craftsmanship I've ever seen. Get out! Do you have Peanuts copies? No! Uh, I mean, no. I have no idea where any copies of Peanut might be. Why would I? Hmm. Oh, you mean the copies Peanut came in to have made? Yes, those I have. Do you have the stub? Stub? Hmm, right here. Holy rah! These are... our resumes. It's Elliot. Everyone knows it is two L's and two T's. Peanut? I'm supposed to be defending... Wait a minute. Me? What are you? I mean, me? I, I mean, I... Whatever. What are you slash I doing? Defending the innocent, of course. Your Honor, I'm supposed to be the defense here. It seems to me you are. Perfect. What's there to complain about? But... Harvey Birdman, too, Your Honor. Oh, ho, ho. this is too rich. Beardless Birdman, how would you like to proceed? I hear if you love something, you have to set it free. Um, yeah, go with that. So be it. Boop. But if he's the defender, then who's the prosecutor? Let's see. Where, oh, where could I find another attorney at such short notice? Where, 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 where? Oh, yes. You. You. But... Ooh. I'll take the case. Excellent. Evil twins facing off against one another for the soul of their young sidekick. Tell me that's not a hackneyed video game idea. Birdless Beard Man, call your first witness. I call Peanut. You can plead the fifth. Fifth, <laughs> sixth, whatever. However you'll go easy on me, won't you, big guy? Peanut, have you ever violated the copyright laws of the U.S. government? Um, define violate? Just tell us what you were doing when the RIAA arrested you this morning. <laughs> well, I was working in your office. It was just an ordinary day. I was playing a song from an adult animated cartoon on your computer. You seemed to enjoy it. When you asked me for a copy, the RIAA knocked down the door and hauled me away. I've never made illegal copies of copywritten material. I have far too much respect for artists. What about that clip you played for me? A gift from a friend? You know all about friends, right, Harvey? Friends don't prosecute you. I don't own any illegal copies of any songs that I know of. Und
leave it. Then how do you explain this? I have never seen that. What is that? I've never seen that before in my whole life. I found this in your fanny perk at the birdcage. Planet, see, that's not even my name on that ID. It says Mr. Johnson. Can I revise my testimony? Uh, what the hell? Yeah, give it another roll. I love my job. Seven and seven is my home away from home. Now, sometimes I listen to music on my computer, but it's always a legitimate copy. Computers aren't just for video games. Okay, they're mostly for video games. I mean, who needs a 256 megabyte graphics card for word processing? That MP3 player is not mine, and that ID card is in some language I am unfamiliar with. <laughs> Hola, mi amigo. ¿Dónde está el cuarto de baño? It says here that you speak Japanese. Interestingly enough, the fake ID looks to have some Asian-looking language on it that might, in fact, be Japanese. All right, you got me. It's mine. Really? I mean, really? So, you admit the songs on here are yours? Why not? They're all legit. What do you mean, legit? All ripped from CDs I own. Ah. What was the RIAA's case against you again? Sorry, hate to break up the breathtaking testimony that you have going on here, but I have this, uh, it's a thing that is, is a scheduling. It was from a long, it's, I'm actually very bored and I just want to leave. Adjourned until tomorrow. I have an announcement to make. You remember my twin brother, Bill, who founded 7 and 7 with me? Bill left to found another law firm, and it's a huge success. We've decided to pool our genes to make something larger than either of our parts. Ha <laughs> ha! Firm growth! <gasps> you mean a merger? No, I hate mergers. I mean, yes, that's it exactly. What are you going to call the new company? Seven and seven eleven? Uh, that's a Roman numeral two. There you go, little fellas. Thanks, those things were driving me crazy. The name is Birdman, Harvey Birdman, number two. How can I help you? Where's Peanut? What have you done with him? He's in his office. And why would you care anyway? You just spent the last day trying to find him guilty. I was just doing my... He has his own office? Wait! How did you get him out of jail? A simple writ of habeas corpus? Habeas what is? What are you trying to pull? And will somebody tell me what the RIAA is? He's a valued member of our staff, a real talent. My peanut? Who's in charge here? Bill Ken Seven, of course. Bill's brother? And your boss-to-be. At least until the right-sizing. What? What's more redundant than a double? Who says the doubles are better? Pardon me. I hope I'm not disturbing anything. Not at all. Good, good. Just making sure that you receive the items I sent to you. Ah, yes, thank you. <laughs> 
They'll be a huge help in filing my injunction tomorrow. I am so screwed. Uh, do you validate? GG2 can take care of that for you. <laughs> Come here, Harry. Are we still on for dinner tonight, darling? Glad to see you could all make it. Birdman, call your first... Wait! Make your first objection. Objection! Yes, now that you mention it, it does seem that the makeup of the jury has been changed. Talk about a jury of your peers! <laughs> Mind swap! How fun this is! It's like human solitaire. Oh, look at them. Look at all those wonderful bird men. And those crests! You'd think they could spare just one! Knock yourself out! What? Why? Don't you need it? I'm an attorney. A good one. What good are superpowers in a court of law? Yes! <laughs> finally, finally, I have the crest on Birdman's helmet. <laughs> yeah! Hey, you can't just go and give that to him. Jealous that I don't need my crest? No, I just... Oh, fine. You want to be the bird with the beard. Mind swap! <laughs> Prosecution! Your Honor, I'd like to call Bird Girl to the stand. Can you tell me why you copied Peanut's outfit? Of course, because... Wait, I didn't copy him! Just look at you. Your clothes, your mask, your wings. You're the spitting image of Peanut. That's not true! I, I, I copied Birdman. Please elaborate. I've been a fan of Birdman since I first laid eyes on him. I modeled my outfit after his. I got as close to it as I could. I even have the little bird crest thing. So, you admit that you copied your outfit from Birdman. Who's the infringer now? Birdman! Overruled! Uh, don't you have to wait until I actually object before you do that? Just trying to save us all some time, but if you insist... Your Honor, what does this have to do with the case? I'm trying to establish a pattern of disrespect for copyright laws within the Bird team. Why? So he can prove that Peanut and Bird Girl are innocent victims of their supervisor's manipulations and pin the blame directly on that supervisor. But I'm that supervisor! Exactly! Yeah, see? Overruled! But I... No further questions. Your witness. I need to prove that Bird Girl did not plagiarize my costume. So you do? How did you duplicate that? I couldn't. Well, not really. The crest is magical or just too high-tech or something. Anyhow, I, I couldn't copy it. Mine's just felt. I felt her crest. Get it? Felt? The uh hair? -huh. The crest thing doesn't work, but felt does. So that's why you let X have your... my... the crest? It's worthless? Let the poor sap have his moment. Whatever. Your Honor, Bird Girl fabricated her own wings, crest, and costume as an homage, making her outfit wholly original and not a cheap knockoff copy of me. In addition, Peanut refuses to wear a suit, and he doesn't even have a bird crest making him 20% different. Therefore, he is not in violation of copyright law. Up, up, you too. Him next to him there, right there. Gotcha. <laughs> You're funny looking. Your honor! Spoil sport? Where's the harm? They're all the same. That's a problem, Your Honor. How can we have a fair trial when every member of the jury employs the defendant? I see your point. Sustained. Court has adjourned until we can straighten out this mess, bailiff. Put these copies in a cage. Your Honor? Beard getting scratchy? Fine. Mind swap! Whoop!
Uh, keep him coming, baby. That's right, nothing stopping me tonight. He had to be here. <laughs> you're here, huh? <laughs> you're here, you're here, you're here. To bear witness to my ultimate victory. Good for you. Congratulations on resting my crest from me. Oh, wait, <laughs> it's still there. Oh. Don't. Don't say that. I didn't say anything. You implied it. You implied that my crest is inferior to yours. I never implied anything about your fake crest. If you're happy with settling for that, why? I'm happy for you. You take all the fun out of everything. Wow, you can really tell that was a quality crest by the way it bunched up and crumpled on the floor. Good going. Now why would you say that? Why? See, I told Mother you hated me. I thought you wanted the crest. Of course I want the one on your helmet, not some cheap copy. Oh, it's all the deadly duplicator's fault. If he hadn't tempted me with all those exquisite copies... Wait, you mean the guy from the copy shop? Of course I mean the guy... How many other copy-based villains do you deal with? I thought Phil and his cloning machine... I gotta go. Can I help you? Uh, I'd like to speak to the deadly duplicator, please. I'm afraid he's not available right now. I know you're busy here, but I wonder if you might be able to let me know where I could find the deadly duplicator. You mean Eliot? Right. Just between one Birdman and another. Eliot, someone's here to see you. It's Elliot. Everyone knows it is two L's and two T's. What do you want? We already have a Birdman of our own, thanks. I got a Franklin Roosevelt here that says you want to tell me. You can buy something nice, like binoculars. A bicycle, or perhaps a biplane. Fine! Give it! Seriously, Birdman, this is little more than simple logic. The copies are always inferior. A piece of hair or a smudge gets on the lens, and you have a serious mess on your hands. This Birdman copy probably won't hold up under stress. I knew it. Now I just need to break him in court. And with a flick of the wrist and a stroke of the pen, we will unite as one legal force of menacing justice. We have to stop this. They'll fire us all and replace us with duplicates. We keep the best, kill the rest. Survival of the fittest. Darwin with a 12-gauge. But they're copies. They can't be as good. And I can prove it. I'll defeat Bill's Birdman in court. 
All right, Birdman, you've got a deal. You win, and the merger's off. Look out! All right, let's get this over with. Birdman, call your first witness. But, Your Honor, I hope you're not trying to suggest that I can't be a fair and impartial jury, Birdman. I object. Overruled. Wow, it's like living in THX. For my first witness, I call myself. Well, the self who works for 7 and 7 too. Don't you mean Peanut? It's his turn, his call. Come on down! Tell us what you know about copies. <laughs> copies are just as good as the originals. If it wasn't for my beard, you couldn't tell us apart. Since when does being first mean you get to control everything? Are we in grade school? Is it fair for the person who holds the rights to the original to completely control the copy? Shouldn't the copy have some rights? Digital rights management is the crime. It keeps people from using their originals in the ways they would prefer. Not when they are $100 a piece. You are property manufactured and sold. So who owns me? The person that paid for my cloning, or the person that made me? Let us see. I now call the deadly duplicator to the stand. What do you want with me? Just tell the court what you've been up to. I'm undergoing an anger management course to help me channel my negative feelings into positive channels. I single-handedly made a number of copies of Harvey Birdman. Your opponent, the people in the jury yesterday, and even my assistant in the copy shop. My copies are nearly perfect. Few people can tell them from the originals. I strictly obey copyright laws when there are any to obey. We can't work with lawlessness. The crest, the crest, the crest, C R E S T. Then, how do you explain this? It's a crest. So? It's a useless crest. It should be the source of superhero powers. And your point is? Your copies don't have any powers. Prove it. The glowing end of justice. Ah! Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I'd like to request another attorney. Where can I find another attorney on such short notice? Oh, yes! Birdman! I'll take the case! I think. You do that. But the court is only required to provide defense attorneys. So without a prosecutor, it looks like you win this one. Case dismissed. Does this mean I won? Isn't that what I just said? So, is that a yes? Yes. Yes! So, what the hell just happened back there? Did I win? More like you've failed to lose. <laughs> oh, part of my master plan. Anyway, it's good to have you back, Peanut. I just hope you learned your lesson about copying music. Yeah, if you're gonna illegally download music, Make sure you use someone else's computer.
Peanut, I have a good feeling about today. The sun is out, people are happy, the birds are singing. You see? Beep. Attention, seven and seven employees. Until further notice, Phil will be taking his annual vacation. Beep. But we just got this memo indicating that annual vacations have been suspended. Beep. That's where he wrote the memo. The following is a pre-recorded message from Phil Ken Seven. Beep. How long's the trip? Annual means year, Birdman. Which is, I don't need to tell you, a sun-baked, sybaritic, cocoa butter slathered eternity. Meaning, I need someone to take over while I'm gone. Yes? While I leave my roost, I'll need someone powerful to occupy the perch. A cock of the walk, if you will. Someone to keep this place soaring. To that end, I'll be handing over the reins for an entire year to everyone's favorite feathered fellow, <gasps> Blue Falcone. <laughs> Falcone? What's he have that I don't? Ah, uh, take a little look-see. Sexy accent, bikini moon timeshares in the Caymans, meaningful bond with Phil, and oh yeah, control over 7 and 7. So, adios, arrivederci, auf Wiedersehen, dos Madonna, salute, and as they say in J-Town, sayonara! <laughs> You? Already? Where's Phil? Is this another trick? I am afraid not, my feathered friend. But rejoice, for I am a beneficent ruler. You will see. Now, it is time for you to leave my presence. Benevolent teeny ruler, huh? Then maybe you'd be willing to give a dedicated employee a bit of a raise. All this I cannot do. But I can give you something. Yes? I give you... Make party! <laughs> Fine! I'm leaving. I regretfully accept your resignation. I'm not quitting, I'm just leaving. Your office. But you just tendered the resignation, no? Tender? I didn't tender anything. What does that even mean? You can't tender things. I can tenderize anything. I'm leaving. But not quitting. Maybe we got off on the wrong foot. Claw. I mean, we may as well make the best of this, right? Okay. I have something for you. Ah, take the beef stroganoff. Ooh, I think I'll try the sweet and sour tofu. Oh, oh, oh. What, what is this stuff? Bathroom. Paper. Oh, great uh, work. Harvey, did you get your stock? Blue Phil Cone, heck of a guy. Uh, stock? What stock? Peanut and I got shares of 7 and 7 stock, didn't you? I didn't get stock. <laughs> Can I see it? Sure. <laughs> Go down a few minutes. Uh. Stand by for a message from Blue Phil Cone. A burden down to my office, please.
So, you may be wondering why you have been summoned. Let me tell you. Actually, I wanted to ask you something. What happened to the cafeteria food? You are not happy with the food? No, to both. I'm not happy, and that's not food. Oh, that is too bad. You see, I've had to make certain cutbacks. So why are you making cutbacks? Is the company in danger? I didn't want to worry anyone, but yes. We need to make sacrifices just to keep the doors open. Is there anything I can do? But of course, you are our most trusted employee. I need you to hire three lawyers for a special case coming up. The best you can find. But if we're in financial trouble, should we be hiring expensive lawyers? This is not a full-time job, Birdman. I just need the best lawyers for this one case. I am counting on you. Three lawyers? Easy. I know just where to find them. Good luck, Birdman. If you succeed in this, I will deposit a bonus in your bank account. Anonymous said you guys got company stock? Yep. Can I see it? You can have it. Oh, Peanut, that's incredibly generous of you. It's a fake. A fake? Don't spend it all in one place. Falcone's up to something. I can feel it. Peanut, are you ready to crack Falcone's plan wide open? I'm kind of reading here. Oh, okay. Uh, have you seen Bird Girl around? Utility closet. Thanks. Bird Girl! Shh! There are spies everywhere! There are spies in the utility closet? Isn't he always in here? Look, I think Falcone is selling off the company piece by piece and pocketing the money. I knew it. Yeah, I already have Inch High looking into it for me. Hmm. I need to get Falcone out of Phil's office for a little while. There are a few things I need from there. I can take care of that. We're gonna be a bird girl. Let's go! I mean, employees of 7 and 7. It's 3.17, so now it's time to, uh, to party! This is Judy, not Bird Girl. Party! Bird Girl did it. Her party will pull Falcone out of his office, giving me a chance to snoop her up.
Alturo! Funny seeing you here. I was on my way to meeting Mother over at the Cheesecake Stockade. Well, it is my birthday, after all. Hey, what would you think about trying one case for seven and seven? <laughs> Laughable. You couldn't afford me. Well, uh, what would it take? Well, it is my birthday, after all. Perhaps a present could persuade me. Hmm? Free 
Freezoid! How's Freezoid, Zarag, and Skan treating him? Harv! Could be better. Zarag keeps cranking the heat, and Skan is constantly calling in sick. Hey, just thinking off the top of my head, but uh, what would you think about trying a case for seven and seven? Hmm. Well, it kind of doesn't make sense for me to leave my own law firm for a case. On the other hand, my electricity bill's insane, so I might consider the offer if my office was conditioned to a comfortable 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, I could do that, I think. I'll let you know. in there. Am I glad to see you. I've been on stakeout for a while now as a favor to Bird Girl. You find anything? Yeah, I found these receipts. It appears that a blue Falcone recently purchased a hundred thousand tubes of Bronzolox tanning creme. These receipts might come in handy. Thanks. Hey, you mind coming with me? I need you for one more thing. Sure, but I ride in the coat pocket. Gift for me? How appropriately delightful. A bird man, you have yourself a deal. Really? That's it? Okay, go on up to the cafeteria. Beautifully tiny Birdman. It's beautifully tiny Bird. Uh, Reducto? How did you get this number? You, uh, you gave it to me. Look, I, I know you're employed by Freezoid, but I was wondering, you know, uh, if you'd be interested in trying a case for 7 and 7? Interesting prospect. Joining forces, coming together, reducing the competition, giving everyone else the tiniest of chances. Well, sure. Here it is, Birdman. 
I will temporarily join your firm if you can show me something of minute interest. That's it? I will await in your office with anticipation! <gasps> So, hand it over. Do you have it? Hmm. Oh, right. You wanted something that I think would impress you. Missed it by an inch. What about this guy? He's really small. That thing again. He's so perfectly itsy-bitsy. Get him out of my sight! You win, Birdman. I'll work on your case. So, I hired Freezoid, Volturo, and Reducto for the case. Three of the best lawyers I could find, just like you asked. It seems so strange that you would follow such orders. Well, you told me. I mean, for the firm. Exactly. While I am sitting here trying to run this firm, you are off padding your bank account with the dreams of our employees. Ah, uh, I think you're slightly confused here. Not at all, Birdman. You are being charged with embezzling money from Seven and Seven. Embezzling? Yes, stealing money from the firm. We have your current bank accounts, which prove this. We? The lawyers you just hired are for the case of Seven and Seven versus Birdman. We will see you in court! <laughs> Uh, guys, a three against one prosecution team? Against Birdman? <laughs> Hardly necessary. Your Honor, we've been hired to try Birdman on the grounds that he's been stealing money from Seven and Seven. But I'm innocent. Your call. Examination of the defendant. So, Harvey, you declare your innocence, but let me declare the following evidence to the court. Your current bank statement and this invoice from a local auction house. Uh, Your Honor, this invoice was signed by a <coughs> Harvey Birdman and included all transactions made with the auction house. And this bank statement? It shows a larger-than-normal deposit made to Harvey Birdman's bank account. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, with this evidence we conclude that Birdman sold the items to be auctioned, depositing the <coughs> swollen earnings in his own... Turgid bank account where it grew very, very large indeed. Speak. Don't I get to examine the evidence? Why not? It might be your last time as a free man. Five minute break! Hmm, maybe I should let Reducto know that Blue Falcone isn't planning on paying any of them. It's beautifully tight. Hey, it's Harvey. Listen, I don't think Falcone is planning to pay any of you for this case. What? I... Wait a second. This is a trick, isn't it? Thought yourself clever, hey, Birdman? No, I just... Your plan failed, Birdman. <laughs> but just to be sure, I will reduce this prosecution team to a more manageable size. Ah! Done! Uh... Okay, I guess that works.
Freezoid, I feel I should warn you about Falco. Okay, nice play, Harv, but stop. I know what you're doing. You do? You're trying to turn us against each other, stirring the pot up. Well, it's a good try, but uh, it's not going to work. But that wasn't what I was doing at all. Whatever. <laughs> but I will keep my eye on Reducto. Got him! And then there were two. All righty then, breaks over. Have any questions, Birdman? This invoice is so small, I, I, I can't read any of it. You have a problem with things that are small, Birdman? I just want to be able to read it. Oh, I can! This name signed at the bottom, is it mine? It says, Senor Antonio de Rivera Garcia Azul. Oh, does it now? And who would that be? Senor Antonio de Rivera Garcia Azul is the full name of Blue Falcon. Names? Facts? What do they prove? Your Honor? I'd like to call Blue Falcone to the stand. Just need to reach out and grab him with mind takery. Add this file box to evidence. Do not touch my things. That is my stuff. Don't touch. Please keep your hands off of my stuff. Does the prosecution want to examine the defendant? Is that me now? Uh, yes, bingo. About time. Whew. Prepare for a not-so-healthy slathering of justice. Tell the court what you've done since taking over 7 and 7. Of course. The first thing I did was look over the accounting records. I quickly noticed that 7 and 7 was heading towards bankruptcy. I made it my mission to keep the firm afloat by selling off some unused assets. I would hate for Mr. Phil to come back from his vacation to a ruined empire. So, you admit to being the one that sold assets to the auction house? Yes, I do. I sold everything that I deemed useless. It was all just garbage collecting dust. So, would you consider copy machines, filing cabinets, desks, computers, and toilets as useless? Of course, if it means to save the firm, sacrifices must be made. But how will we work in this kind of environment? That is why we must also make some pay cuts. Pay cuts? Who is getting a pay cut? Uh, so far, I have had to cut the pay of Potamus, Peanut, and Bird Girl. Everyone else has been laid off. But Peanut and Potamus seem content. Ah, see. Si. I supplemented their pay reduction with 7 and 7 stocks. In the end, all is fair. Is this what you were handing out? This fake stock certificate? Fake, you say? But I copied it from a real one. You crossed out Phil 7 and wrote in Peanut. Okay, let me try this one. That seven and seven was nearly bankrupt. And by firing most of the staff and forcing useless assets, I managed to add some time before its demise. All of the money I have saved is going back into the firm to pay myself and key personnel. So 
Now, just how much do you make during this crisis? Just enough to pay for a humble living and send some money to my family. And uh, that's it? That is it! So, how do you explain these? Receipts detailing the purchase of 100,000 units of Brontolux cream. Huh, those. Well, you see, I, I just, I, I mean, what I was going to do was very simple. I, <sighs> Objection. Is all of this really necessary? All my client slash boss wants to do is keep the dreams of Seven and Seven alive. So maybe he bought a few tubes of this tanning creme. Is that a crime? It was a hundred thousand tubes! I agree. We don't know for certain where the money came from, and we have yet to determine a motive. Correct. Unless Birdman can reveal to the court why Blue Falcon would want to disassemble Seven and Seven, I'll have to request the case be thrown out. I was going to say that! Oh, sorry. Go ahead. But you already did! This is better than Sweeps Week! But I do have to agree with Stan. Harvey, you need to prove motive! I thought I did. I mean, he bought a hundred thousand tubes of tanning cream! Oh! Birdman! We found the final piece of evidence you need to slam this case! This looks like plans for Blue Falcone to start his own tanning salon business. Ha! Ah, he was embezzling to get the funds to start his own company. This is preposterous. You cannot prove any of this. In fact, I have been in contact with Mr. Phil this whole time about the new 7 and 7 tanning salon. We have exchanged many emails and how do you say it, uh, IMS? This whole law thing just does not have much of a future. You just made your final mistake. I can prove everything. Hopefully. Behold, this copy of Phil's vacation plans. It says right here that the island he's staying on doesn't have computers or telephones. So, there's no way to send him an instant message. Objection! No, let the birdman have his victory. You admit that you were the one selling off 7 and 7 for personal gain? Yes. You have defeated me honorably. I graciously turn myself over to the compassions of the court. But why do all of this to Seven and Seven? Hmm? Oh, I wanted to make a lot of money quickly and be my own boss. It's not that hard to figure out. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. <coughs> Look at you, Birdman, winning a case. Now everybody out! I've got rehearsal tonight with the band. So that just about does it. Way to go, Birdman! It makes me proud to be a member of the Bird Team! Uh, yeah. Me too? Me too! See, si, me too! <laughs> <laughs> Trouble in the tropics! I have to sell everything to make money fast! Ha <laughs> ha! Liquid assets! Seriously, you're all fired!
I was on my way to meeting mother over at the cheese fornicate. <clears throat> I use that word because Valtero is very cultured. See, unfortunately, just another cut to the back of the way to make to get the bit of running. But you just tendered the resignation. Resignation. But you just tendered the resignation. do. Hello. Thank you. Sorry about that. But you just tendered the resignation. I've got a brain fart where they're saying the sentence is concerned. There's some sort of synaptic dysfunction. Please forgive me. <clears throat> but you just tendered a resignation. No. But you just tendered the resignation, though. There we go. I'll take the case. I'll take the case. I'll take the case. Say you'll take the case. I'll 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 take the bet. I'll take the case. I'll take the case. Oh, I'll take the case. I'll take the case. I'll take the case. Well, of course, devoting full attention to your um, case. I'll take the case. He'll take the case. Damn right, he damn well, damn it. Look, a sandwich. <laughs> Well, Potamus, it looks like I'll have to crash at your place for a while. Peanuts, X, do you have anything to say to me? <laughs> These smell like they belong to some wild animal. Oh, you know I don't mean it like that. Well, everybody, everything's back to normal. Well, I cleared everything up and have my law license back again. I've called you all here today because you're all overpaid. I'll leg wrestle anyone from 7 and 7-Eleven right here and now. I give you... Make party! <laughs> but he is not an arsonist. I think. Gigi! Wife? I think. I'm a superhero. Kind of. Uh, be gentle. He's just a boy. I think. He's not old enough. I think. I had a reason to come in here. I think. I'll take the case. I think. I can do that. I think. Azul is a Spanish or Spanish-speaking person. Probably. I can prove everything. Hopefully. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, buddy. Do me a favor and don't mention this little fiasco to anyone in C-Block. I just need to find out what's causing these electrical disturbances. I'll take the case! Make party!